Costs are part of every production process, and therefore every firm has to take them into account. Let's learn more about different types of costs. The x-axis, or horizontal axis, shows the amount of output produced, while the y-axis, or vertical axis, shows the different types of costs present in the production process. We have total cost, which is the sum of all different types of costs. Variable costs depend on the level of production and can include things such as direct inputs as raw material and labor. Fixed costs mainly include things like rent, equipment, and such, which require time to change and are often associated with indirect production costs. Since they don't depend on the level of production, a straight horizontal line, independent of quantity, represents fixed cost. Variable costs change with the level of output. The shape of this curve will depend on a number of things, such as factory dimensions, energy prices, or the cost of extra labor hours. Total cost is calculated by adding these two curves together. We will now see how variable costs increase depending on the amount of output being produced. As we can see, variable costs grow first at a decreasing rate, up until the point where the straight line from the origin is tangent to the curve. From this point onwards, variable costs will grow more rapidly. At this point, average variable cost will be at its minimum. Therefore, this inflection point, noted as E, differentiates two phases. The first phase, where the growth rate of variable cost is slower than the growth rate of production, and the second phase, where variable costs grow much faster than output. This is related to returns to scale. In phase one, where the elasticity of scale is greater than one, there are increasing returns to scale, while phase two corresponds to decreasing returns to scale. In point E, the elasticity of scale equals one which represents constant returns to scale. This analysis of cost helps us understand how firms make decisions about their production process. It is at point E where the firm will be more efficient, and therefore more profitable. However, we must keep in mind that cost analysis vary from the short run to the long run.